Beggars can't be choosers, but beggars never quit. Height here, and you already know what this is. It's time for choosing beggars. Let's do it. Our first one is from At The Real Serenit. Is your dresser taken? Can you deliver to Beggarsville? It's available, but you'd have to pick it up because I don't have a truck. Me neither! I need it today! My address is here in Beggarsville! I'm sorry, other people are willing to come pick it up, so if you can't, I'll let them have it. I asked first! Yes, but I'm giving it away for free, so come and get it, or I'll give it to somebody else. Even if you have to come another day, I'm willing to wait. I need this today! My address is here in Beggarsville! The beggar clearly didn't need it that bad, because if they did, they'd make arrangements to go pick it up. This next one is by Muchtone8124. I was looking forward to going to the Taylor Lopez fight, but I guess the world champion of my caliber is not good enough to get comp tickets like other world champions in my sport at TR Boxing. I'm just going to book my flight to Florida and watch the fight on TV. Ridiculous! Hey champ, we always love to have you at top rank events. But when your team called two days ago, we were sold out on the first few floor rows. We offered your representatives other seats, which were declined. You gotta love how when it's broken down like this and specified that they were actually offered something, they declined it and then just want to complain about it. Typical choosing beggar behavior. This next one is from Carly the Sniper. We need this pool removed pronto, like this afternoon. Like immediately, the value is in the metal for scrap. You can have it for free. Please PM me and send a picture of the truck you expect to use. You can have the old lumber surrounding it as well. Same great price, free. Bring your wood blades too. That's a fantastic deal for who knows how many hours of labor it'll take to actually dismantle and remove all of that. <laughs> Not. This next one is by Chopped Lettuce 434. Looking to get me a German Shepherd or a Husky? Gotta have shots updated and loves car rides and potty trained and good with other dogs and kids. Maybe open to other breeds, but I always wanted a German Shepherd or a Husky. Unfortunately, a lot of the beggars just don't think of the bigger picture when they want an animal. They just want the animal and don't think about the care, the upkeep, any of that stuff that goes along with having that animal. This next one is from Whistlewink. Lazy workers, do not read further. I'm about to provide a lucrative opportunity for young companies that are willing to meet my criteria. You have to have been in business with at least six months to qualify. I need my roof totally replaced on my 1200 square foot home and will allow a company that's new to do it for free. I will pay 75% of materials. The rest is on you. After you complete my roof to my satisfaction, you will receive the following. Five star Google reviews from me and several friends that are in the industry. Word of mouth recommendations for six months from me. I will allow you to place your sign in my yard for 45 days. I'm sick and tired of entitled businesses today who want to overcharge, want a free ride, but are unwilling to put in sweat equity to show they're serious. This is a mutually beneficial agreement to show your future clients your dedication to your craft. PM me with any questions. <laughs> this has to be a joke or something. I think what gets me is when the beggar says they're sick and tired of entitled businesses while failing to realize they're an entitled choosing beggar that wants some work done for free, even if they're willing to pay for 75% of the materials. This next one is by Gorger of Pandas. Good morning, everyone. Does anyone in this group has or know any owners that accept Section 8 and has a five or six bedroom available? My lease is up two weeks ago, but I did a 30 day extension, but I'm just finding out after a whole year that a lady passed away in the house I'm in. Now me and my children is very uncomfortable after finding this out. The owner never mentioned anything to me about someone passing up. I just need to move as soon as possible. 
I look at it like if you just need to move as soon as possible, you don't need a five or a six bedroom place either. You're fishing and you're being a choosing beggar at that point, and you're clearly not that bothered about the fact that somebody died in there because you want something specific instead of taking what you can get. This next one is from TechMagic317. Lenovo 2-in-1 touchscreen, $142. Hello there. Hello. Hi, I'm interested in buying your Lenovo 2-in-1 touchscreen Chromebook. I would have loved to buy it, but do not have the money at the moment. It was for my daughter's wish to get it on her sick bed. I want to put a smile on her face. Her birthday is coming, so I thought I'd surprise her with this gift. Thank you for your kind concern. Looking forward to your response. Well, considering the beggar never received a response, at least that we see here, uh, we can go ahead and assume that they definitely did not get that, and that their sob story fell flat on its face. This next one is by Nick Abob. Hey, my name is Blue Beggar. PS5 HDMI port is broken. How much would it cost to fix? Hi, thanks for contacting us. We've received your message and appreciate you reaching out. Okay. It'll be $175 cash. Bring it tomorrow and we can have it done in two days or less. I can only pay $20. Well, the repair costs $175, so... It other places will do it for $50. Why are you trying to scam me? Then why wouldn't you go get them to do the $50 repair? The drive is too far. If I buy the parts for you to do it, will it be cheaper? Not sure what to tell you. Nah, I stock OEM parts. I don't mess with cheap knockoffs. How much does one cost? Can I buy it from you and do it myself? The repair is $175. Sure, you could do the repair yourself. $1,300 for the HDMI microscope, $450 for the micro soldering iron, $20 in consumable supplies, and 30 plus years worth of electronics repair experience. I just wanted to buy the HDMI port from you. Not all that. Quit trying to get smart. Well, that's what it did take to perform the repair. I have an iMac, so can we do a trade for service? We don't sell parts because the vast majority of people don't know how to install parts properly. And no, I don't want an Apple device to trade for the repair, but you could sell it and use the funds to pay for the repair. But I watched a YouTube video and it showed me, so can I just buy the part or what? We also take games, consoles, and arcade machine boards and cabinets on trade. You could also trade in stuff to go toward the repair this. What if I give you two PS5 controllers? They blog for 80, so that should be enough to pay for it. Both. PS5 controllers trade in for about $40 credit, since we sell them for $60. How much would my Nintendo Switch OLED get in credits? We'd have to see it in person, along with everything else you're wanting to bring in. However, if it's in fully working order and in great cosmetic shape, then you'd be looking at about $230 credit. Be sure to bring your ID when you bring this stuff in, so we can verify you're 18. It works, and I just want to trade in the screen and charger, not the Joy-Cons, and it has a few scratches. We'd have to see it to judge the condition. But usually how much would you give for it in decent condition? I just told you. Oh wait, no Joy-Cons? That'll be lower. So, how much? Especially without a dock. Okay, how much? I need to see the system to give an accurate price. Never mind, I'll find someone to fix my P5050. Okay. They stated in the beginning they could get it fixed for $50, but my, my question really lies. Do they even have $50 to spend? Or will they get to the $50 place and end up trying to negotiate that? Beggars can't be choosers, but this one will never quit. This next one is by SVFT Peachy. I'm in search of an old Christian man who would like to cook me three meals a day for free. Must be single man and Christian. Maybe drive me to doctor's appointments, grocery shopping, and dinners out. Please and thank you. Still looking, anyone? Old, old. 
Reading this confuses me, but I'm probably not nearly as confused as the beggar in this situation, considering they're posting probably in the completely wrong area. I don't think you're going to try to find a soulmate or somebody to do this kind of stuff under a buy nothing group. And our final one is from prestigious tier 576. Is the Xbox still for sale? No, sorry, hun. Sold this morning. Cheers. My son's crying. Nice one. I feel like if this beggar's son is really crying, they're either A, too young to own an Xbox, or B, just a grown-ass baby. It could also be C, where this beggar's attempting a failed guilt trip. Alright, that's enough beggars for the day. Well, that wraps up this episode of Choosing Beggars. If you liked the video, please drop a like, share my content on all of your social media, subscribe if you haven't already, and make sure to hit that bell so you're notified every time I upload, and drop a comment down below. It really helps with the algorithm and helps new people find my channel. Thanks for watching. Thanks to my patrons. Have a great day and stay safe out there.